time, no relying on me now If you can help it Even at a good time, even on a better day yeah, Let's just show it Or maybe take it slow Yes. Um, this is a special occasion because Nolan and Peyton are married. They've been married for, well, over a month now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the woman I'm marrying. She's great. Um, anyway, we had a little bit of an adventure on the way in, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We, uh, we pulled a guy out of a ditch. That we did. Yeah. We ate some foreign fast food. Pals, they're talking about pals. pals. <laughs> <laughs> native, native, pals. native, <laughs> domestic, native. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Comer's Rock in uh, Jefferson National Forest, uh, more specifically Mount Rogers National Recreation Area. This is one of the few places you can still go right now because everything else is shut down. We are going to be distancing ourselves from other people, except for one guy that we pulled out of a ditch. Um, so. They, we, we do have some footage of it, thank goodness. Um, he was just sort of, you know, just a normal dude. We don't know how he got in the ditch. We weren't <laughs> gonna ask. But as you can see in the footage, uh, I attempted to use my yellow toe straps. They're just cheap ones. They came out of an emergency kit. As you can see, they were effectively worthless. It, it snapped as soon as we uh, put, you know, serious tension on the line. Uh, but he had a chain, and I should mention that I do not condone the use of a chain for a recovery. It's not really a great idea. Uh, however, we removed all of our occupants from the vehicle, um, and I kept my head down. Um, not, not ideal, but we made it work, and uh, of course we were not spring-loading the recovery at all. We were just doing it as slowly as we could, and it worked. But anyway, that's the second win for June on uh, today. The first time we, we were out at uh, Granddaddy's farm and got the chance to uh, try out the new tires in the mud. They did well, plenty of ground clearance. Um, and uh, yeah, she did great pulling the truck out of the ditch. I think that was, I think it was a three quarter ton truck too. It was not a, it was not a light truck. It was either that or 15, 1500, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a small truck and she made, uh, made easy work of it when she had a, a good strap on her. So anyway, now we're gonna hike up. We're also camping today. At least we're gonna make an attempt to if we don't get rained or uh, it gets too cold. We're a little wimpy today. We're kind of taking it easy. So we're gonna play it by ear. But anyway, let's get up and go see the overlook. Hi. Are you enjoying yourself? It's a nice view. You know, I can't remember the last time we were at a nice place for sunset. We just don't really do that anymore, do we? Nah. We're out here still making art, folk. You know, some of us still enjoy photography. So we just went to Comer's Rock. Did you enjoy it? I did. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. good. Uh, I mean, we're not at the... We didn't come at the best time of day. But we still enjoyed it. What is next on the agenda? We're gonna find a campsite. Yep. Um, and this should be interesting because we've never been to this national forest before, have we? I don't think no, so. No, not to camp. No, we've been close at Grayson Highlands, but not not anywhere around here to find a campsite. So we're kind of we're kind of left to the wolves right now. The wolves. <laughs> They're wolves. They have us surrounded. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wish us luck. We're gonna find a site. Where did we go? A lake! What's it called? Hail Lake. Good job. That was a really long hike. Yeah. From there to here. It was a very, very long hike. I'd say what, maybe eight miles? It's a very skinny lake, but it runs very long. Yeah. Wow! Whoa! Dylan! What can I you say? Have a gift. Yeah. Thanks for watching Adventures with Dylan. My name is Dylan. This is a rock. That's a body of water. I'm gonna skip this thing. <laughs> it's okay though, because we're having a wicked awesome adventure.
All right, Nolan, this is perspective campsite number one. Number uno. Pretty good. Got yeah. a fire ring. Actually, there's two fire rings. Um, we got a lot of space. The road down there, I don't think we're going to have any visitors tonight if we pitch, I, I pitch doubt here. It. Um, and uh, yeah, got some nice privacy. The only thing I'm concerned about at this point would be maybe the wind. We also explored some of the other surrounding forest roads. We didn't find a better campsite than this one, so we're back. Uh, the good thing is it's really close to the lake, so I think Lake and I are actually going to get a couple nice photos tonight, like I guess engagement style photos since we've got the opportunity. Um, hopefully there there will be a you know a decently good sunset. Um, but yeah, check out the campsite. We're really thrilled with it. This is one of the best campsites I think I've ever found on the East Coast. So here it is. So of course here is June. June's done a great job today. And then we have all this wide open space. We even got a little bit of evergreen action going on over there. We got the ridge line, a little bit of a view. And we've got good friends cooking good food, big fire pit. We haven't figured out where we're gonna set up the tent yet. We no, might set it up like strategically yeah, as a place to avoid some of the wind. Wait, can I and Lakeland's doing a great job getting the stove set up. Good job, babe. Good job, babe. Thank you. Good job. Ooh, are those are able to come off yet? I mean, not come off, are you able to like turn them over yet? Eh, some of them are so kind of stuck in there. Beef tips, that was a great idea, babe. Good job. Thank you. Actually, I think it might have been my idea. My idea, I picked them up. <laughs> and all the Peyton are over here cutting the vegetables. You're eating beef. You enjoying it? So much. Back here? Happy mm -hmm. campers? Happy yes, sir. campers. Yeah, looks good. We got a little left, too. What a day it has been. It's been a great day. It's been absolutely delightful. So, uh, Nolan and Peyton just got done taking some nice photos of us and, and I of them as well. And uh, we're just enjoying watching the amazing sunset that we're getting to view here back at Hale Lake. We did drive back down the mountain one last time to go watch the sunset and of course take pictures. Um, and yeah, it's been a really good day. We've really enjoyed exploring around Jefferson National Forest. Um, and now we're about to drive back up the mountain and make the decision as to whether or not we're going to attempt to sleep here overnight or if we're gonna drive back. So we don't know yet, we'll figure it out. But we'll let you know when we do. All right. Hey, Nolan, you want to give us an update on how things are going around, you know, the camp right now? Well, um, we finished taking photos. We set up the tent and we had a, we have a fire going now. Um, we're drying out some wood, um, or rigger pieces because they're pretty wet because it rained like yesterday. So, uh, but it's, it's going really well. So yeah, yeah, actually we'll ahead. Nolan's being really humble. Nolan really got the fire going enough so that we can actually dry out some wood. At least that's the plan, but I think Nolan did a great job. Um, so yeah, things are all good at camp. Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> Shut the flip up. <laughs> Viewers, I'm not gonna lie to you. He may, he's gonna tell you some bull crap about how like, oh, it was amazing. That was the worst night of sleep I've ever had in my entire life. 
Well, we all had a great night's sleep. It was a wonderful, beautiful night. Got some nice astrophotography shots last night. Um, and the forecasted weather here around Comer's Rock was supposed to be 40 something degrees. It wasn't. I, the, my phone told me in the middle of the night it was 28 degrees. So we had a great camping trip up until last night. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, this morning I forgot to film breakfast, but we had breakfast sandwiches. Um, and they were really good. So now we're packing up camp and uh, I don't think there's gonna be much left of this video to enjoy. Um, so with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.